Hello everyone. In today's session, we're going to have a look at SAP BODS Validation Part 4. About the trainer, I am Vijay Lakshmi Balakrishnan and my core expertise is in SAP data migration, finance and controlling, business consolidation, business warehouse, business planning and consolidation, and business objects data services. I have around 25 years of experience, out of which the first 10 years is into domain experience and the last 15 years into SAP implementation and support projects. Each challenge is an opportunity make the best use of it. Change is the only word that doesn't change. Everything else changes. Best thing you can give to another human being is building their self-confidence. Teach them how to fish and don't fish for them. The contents of this session is as follows. Using Data Services Designer, we're going to create a project and under a project, we're going to create a job. Under a job, we're going to create a workflow. Under a workflow, we're going to create a data flow. Under data flow, we're going to create a file format and a validation and target templates. We're going to validate the job and execute it. Validation. In this session, as a simple example, we're going to create a new project and its subcomponents in Data Services Designer to extract data from an Excel file, load the data to various target files based on validation. Validation transform is used to filter or replace the source data set based on validation rules to produce a desired output data set. This transform is used for null checking for mandatory fields, pattern checking, existence of value in reference table, validate data type, etc. This is how the subcomponents of the validation project would look like after we've completed the practicals in the remote desktop server. If you have any questions, please do leave them in the comments section below and we will answer them as soon as possible. Let's go to the remote desktop server and continue with the practicals. This is the remote desktop server and we have already logged into SAP Data Services Designer. Let's go ahead and create a new project. and right click create new bad job rename the job and under the job drag in the workflow workflow is optional And under the workflow, drag in the data flow and rename it. Okay, so under the 
data flow, we have to create a file format for the Excel source file. And we have to uh, create a validation transform. And the third thing is the target files. If there is, if the validation is a pass, then we have to write it to a target file. If we, if the validation is fail, then the records which failed has to go to a, another target file and the rule violation file where where the rules were violated those details will be written to the third target file okay so let's go to the file format and our source file is an excel file so click on excel workbooks right click new and give the name all accounts for validation okay and the directory is in the desktop desktop and select the file this is the file and it's available in sheet one and click on use first row values as column names import schema change the field size it's seven characters account number is seven characters description is 25 characters amount it won't allow you to change the field size and direct uh, sorry debit credit is six characters and account nature is 10 characters and click on ok and drag this file here and click on this magnifying glass so this is the data now what i'm going to do is i'm going to write a validation transform to check the debit credit column if it has a value then the validation is has passed and it goes and writes to the pass file if it doesn't have a value like here the null then it has to go and write to a fail target file and the rule violation file will give the details of the rule which record violates the rule okay so that's so out of 27 records one will fail the validation because it doesn't have a value for debit and credit and the remaining 26 will pass the validation and in the rule violation target file the details of this record will be displayed okay right Let's go to transform platform and scroll down and drag this validation here. Connect the file format to validation and double click on it. Okay, so I'm going to add so when the validation passes it will give you the exact set of records and their fields but when it fails you will get di underscore error action di underscore error columns and di underscore row id and under va validation rule violation you will get di row id di rule name and di column name so these are the three extra fields you will get in validation fail and these are the three fields which you will get under validation rule violation okay so let's go ahead and add the validation so pass validation So I'm going to give the same name uh, for the description as well. 
select column validation and click on here and select the field name and is not null so if it's not null then that means it has a value either a debit or a credit and that will be written to the pass target file okay click on ok right so if it's not there then it will write if it fails then it will write to the fail target file okay so let's go back and bring in target files So that's the fail target file and one more file for the rule violation. Okay, so connect the validation transform to the pass target file and it'll ask whether the results of pass or fail or rule violation have to be written to this file. I'm selecting pass and for the fail target file, I'm selecting fail and the details of the rule violation are written to the rule violation file. Okay. Now, we have 27 records out of which we 26 of them have a value for debit credit column either a debit or a credit only one does not have a value which has null value so i've written a validation rule which checks that the debit credit column is not null and if it has a value and it is not null it'll go to the those records will go to pass target file. If it's not having a value, which is it's not, it's uh, the fail condition of is not null, then it'll go and sit in the fail target. Fail target file. And the reasons or the details of the failed target records will be displayed in the rule violation file. So let's check and validate if it has any errors, no errors found and go to the job and execute the job. Asking to save, yes, and then execute. Okay, it has completed successfully go to the data flow so this is the source file it has 27 records out of which 26 have a value for debit credit only one does not have a value and has a null value okay so my pass should be 26 my fail should be one and the details of that one which failed should be in the rules violation file okay so I have 26 records because these have a value. Let's scroll down. It has, the, has a debit or a credit value. So these 26 pass the validation rule. And here, this one record debit credit has a null value. So it has failed. And the rule failed, uh, the validation rule failed is 
debit credit 06 on column debit credit 06 and the row ID is 1 okay and here in the rule rule violation file so that's one pass validation is what has been violated and the column name is debit credit six okay if you have any questions please do leave them in the comment section below and we will answer them as soon as possible hope this session was useful If you like our video, please click on the like icon and if you have not yet subscribed, please do subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon to receive notifications of new uploads. Thank you for watching this video and thank you for your time.